So that brings me to sort of the notion of, of IT as a service, right? And, and specifically data protection as a service. I mean, a lot of people have said, oh, data protection's broken. We sort of think about data protection as a bolt-on yep. or as an afterthought. Oh, I got this application. I have an understanding of what the application requirements and performance requirements mm -hmm. are. Oh, I got to protect the data. Um, is that changing? Absolutely, it's changing. And, and what happens is the economics start to become very compelling. When you look at the economics of trying to consolidate the infrastructure and bring that in, now I have the ability to be able to outsource my backups, outsource my replication from the standpoint of being able to take it out through a service provider that pays for the WAN, the connectivity, and the recovery capability. So the economics from a CIO standpoint starts to make a lot of sense, but only if they can guarantee the service levels. So, so talk specifically about how that manifests itself into a solution with, uh, with the stuff you're working on, whether it's RecoverPoint or partner products. Can you give us an example? Yeah, absolutely. So from the standpoint of where uh, RecoverPoint fits in, RecoverPoint delivers quality of service so that for my SAP, Oracle, and my mission critical applications, I can deliver a quality of service that is, you know, as I can do within a physical environment. So I'm not giving anything up. The ability now to extend that out across my tier two applications also starts to make sense because now I can take my tier two applications and also leverage that same infrastructure. So now I have the ability to take advantage of the services running in the cloud, but then at the same time, make sure that that CIO has the comfort level that the services of the applications are being met. 